I'm Hal Diley, and you're watching Snyder's Riders. One of the first steps to safe and successful motorcycling is understanding your bike. You need to identify the five basic controls and how you properly operate them. When in doubt, check with your owner's manual or search online for that information. Walk around your bike. See if you can identify the following controls. Your throttle, clutch, front brake, rear brake, and gear shift lever. Now we want to properly mount our motorcycle and assume correct riding posture. Identify the throttle, normally located with the right hand grip. To operate this, you want to roll on and roll off the throttle. This needs to be done with control. Next, identify your clutch lever, normally on the left hand grip. You want to be able to squeeze this in and release it slowly. And that's the key to proper clutch control. Squeeze and release. The first few times you want to keep that clutch in what we call the friction zone, not allowing it all the way out. Learn to identify this later with one of our riding exercises. So squeeze and ease or release that clutch slowly. Once you get familiar with the friction zone, you can then ease the clutch all the way out. Identify the front brake. Again, this is located on the right hand grip. You want to gently squeeze that in and release it out. Squeeze it in and release it out. This needs to be a progressive squeeze. We want to avoid abrupt movements when dealing with the front brake. Your rear brake is normally located down on your right footrest. Here, you press it down and release it. Press and release, press and release. Locate your gear shift lever. This is by your left footrest. To operate the gear shift lever, we lift up to upshift and we press down to downshift. Lift up to upshift and press down to downshift. Next exercise is we want to understand how to use the throttle and the brake properly. You want to roll on the throttle, roll off the throttle, gently squeeze the front brake, release the front brake, and hand back on the throttle and roll on. So you're going to roll off, squeeze, release, hand back on the throttle and roll on. It's important as you practice this to get all your fingers back on the throttle for maximum control. A simple exercise, but a really important one to properly understand and use your front brake. Beyond your five basic controls, you also want to identify the following. Your choke if you have a carbureted motorcycle. Note the choke positions for on and off. Your fuel supply valve. Again, note the different positions. Most will have an off, an on, and a reserve for those times when you're running low on gas. Identify your ignition, where you put the key. Again, identify the positions that that key or ignition can be turned into. When in doubt, check your owner's manual for specifics. With a variety of bikes out there, including electric and fuel-injected bikes, Always check that owner's manual for your specific operations. Locate your engine cutoff switch, normally located near your right thumb. Turn it on and off. This is an important safety feature built into motorcycles. If your bike is ever doing something you don't want to do, you need to be able to shut it off quickly and safely. Locate the electric start button. Again, normally located to be operated by your right thumb. Press it in to operate. Locate your turn signal switch. Depending on the make or model, this could be on the left hand grip or on both hand grips. You want to be able to turn on the left, the right, and to cancel, push it in on most models. Locate your horn button. Again, normally operated by your left thumb. Locate and operate your high and low beam switch. 
Turn the high beams on and off. Note that we want to be able to locate and operate all these controls while seated on the motorcycle and without looking or searching for them. This is an important step in becoming a safe motorcyclist. Practice until you're able to find and operate all these controls while keeping your head and eyes up in proper riding posture.